Good evening, everyone. In this video tonight, I'd like to ask, does he dream about you? And if yes, what does he dream about you? Dream means daydream, not like at night. It can come up also a dream that people have at night. So let's be open and let's have a look what do the car uh, what do these cards want to tell us. Now, if you'd like to participate, please think of a person or persons and choose a deck or decks. And take your time, please. Okay, have you chosen? So let's have a look now at the deck number one. These are all Los Carabeo decks, by the way. The first one is Golden Botticelli Tarot deck. And let's see what will they say. So do they dream about you? And what do they dream about you? How do they dream about you? Do they dream about you? That number one. Well, for me, uh, I'm having a situation. Well, maybe they are feeling lonely. I don't see that much dreaming, but I see thinking. He is dreaming, let's say, when they see you coming to them, when they see you approaching them, and uh, when they see you actually physically, then they kind of stop doing what they're doing and kind of like looking at you. And when they look at you, they kind of feel uh, lonely then. They feel lonely. And I feel, yes, they might be feeling, because of their loneliness or something, that they might be thinking about you, looking at you. And uh, I feel that they might want you to talk to them or something like that. They might want you to approach them. So that sort of situation. Are they dreaming about you? I don't feel that they're dreaming. But thinking, yeah, a lot. They're thinking about you. So let's see what are they thinking about you, what are they thinking about you. Well, the thoughts are a little bit on a, on a sad side. The thoughts that they have about you are a little bit on the sadder side. Um, like maybe you don't have something, that maybe um, you are sad about something. And they're just seeing that, you know, in you, like disappointment or sadness or something, just noticing you basically. Uh, that perhaps it's um, to do with something that you want to achieve and you cannot achieve. And they're kind of feeling, oh, look at her. She's tried to do this and she cannot do this. You know, so it looks like, it looks like they are basically... Uh, Like that, yeah. And let's see, what would they like to tell you? What is their message to you? Because I'm just getting very little information with them. What is the message? Well, the message is regarding work. We have kids, we have work. Uh, it could be, um, you know, work hard for your kids or work, uh, you know, don't give up and keep doing. And if you keep doing something, you will achieve something one day. So, um, you know, if you have children, you can say that do this for your children, work hard for your children, you know. And little by little, you know, you'll get somewhere, you know, by small steps if you go. And basically, you have to keep working, you have to keep doing something. So for some reason, 
we're getting this um, kind of very work-related message. Like, they are the good wisher for you. They think maybe, who knows, maybe they think of themselves that they're old already for this relationship. And they are kind of, you know, they, they just want to be like a uh, good wisher for you. Yeah, want for you that your life would be as best as it can for you. Because they're observing you and they feel that you're not succeeding in something, that you're struggling with something. And uh, so, yeah, this was our message. Yeah, not very romantic here. More of a, you know, work-related nature. So let's move on to our reading number two and let's have a look what that person, what does that person think about you or dream about you. This is our deck number two and it's the 1001 uh, night deck. It's Los Carabeo deck. The question is, do they dream about you? They dream. And what do they dream about you? Do they dream about you? Well, here I feel that uh, they do not dream about you because they t they get to meet you very often. So you're very beautiful for them, like a feminine female, full of beautiful clothes and nice perfume. And you look uh, rich and very beautiful to them. I think that's how they see you. Um, a very impressive woman. Now... You know, for me, this is them and this is you. You're like a flower to them. So they they always feel astonished by your beauty and astonished by your presence. And they like basically uh, your presence. And there is this awe, you know, when they see it's like, oh, you know, wow, you know, she's so beautiful. But they do not dream about your feel because you get the chance to meet with each other and talk in person. So in this case, for me, it seems that whatever they like, they can meet you and talk to you. So that's why they kind of are not dreaming. They don't have the need to dream. But they remember you. It's more like memory. Like um, they associate you with these good things. Uh, so let's say, okay, so I kind of told everything. But we can still ask, what do they remember about you when they remember you? Again, conversations, time together. And uh, so, look, they remember you being together, talking together, looking at the stars together. Or maybe mm, there is this hope, uh, like courtship, period of courtship, dating. If you already went on dates, they might be remember those dates and those times you met together, the conversations you had, you know, maybe you played guitar and they remember that, maybe you talked about your dreams, common dreams, they remember that, or they can simply remember the feeling of when they were talking to you and being with you, they remember that sort of thing. Now, uh, and right now we have class and dif uh, class difference, so we have this male who is basically like authority figure. I don't know if that's them who's an authority figure. But basically the, the woman who, which is used um, below him in their, how to say, in status, I guess. So I don't know if this is some other male that you both know, very important authority figure. Like they remember you uh, being nice to a male, another male. Now, like a servant, like a maid, <laughs> like, how to put it, not a servant, but like being polite to some sort of older or 
you know all the person or a person in which is an, who is an authority figure yeah so they I think they found it very kind of nice you being nice to someone who was like a boss I don't know so we have that uh, a little bit romanticized view of you that they're seeing you're like a good person you know like a very exemplary person you know that sort of situation here uh, so yeah this is what they are actually thinking about you dreaming about you which was not dreaming, more remembering you and enjoying your presence. And still they adore you, I feel, here in this one. Okay, and let's have a look if... What would that person like to tell you if they wanted to tell you something? Because definitely they like you. What is it that they want to tell you right now? Or would like if they could... So um, I'm seeing that uh, they think you're wonderful, they adore you, you're like the best, uh, you're better than other females, you're better than other girls, you're like the queen that they are carrying, you're above all of them. And um, I think they want to say something like, when I first saw you, when I first saw you, you were standing out in the crowd, you were a lot more beautiful than all the other girls, you look like a queen, you know, I immediately liked you, and I want to come to you as soon as I can to meet you, so we have this type of situation here, it's like, I'm gonna fall for you, I'm gonna come to you, I'm gonna just risk for you, do anything for you, like a crazy person, so, um, or call me and I'm, I'm, I'm here for you, you know, that sort of feeling is there. I'm going to come from another country, I'm going to come from another planet, I'm going to do anything, you know, to be with you. So I'm getting that sort of thing. Although this card, the black horse, it's, uh, for me, it's a little bit like, something like scary, yeah. So he is willing to come, but I think he wants to either warn about something or... There is more to it, basically. I want to see what the black horse means. Maybe he's afraid of another man. Maybe he's afraid to be punished by someone. Because we again see this class difference. This is the king of swords, a very dangerous kind of man. Maybe there's another man around you that this person is a little bit intimidated by. And he's kind of careful. Okay, so this was our reading number two. Now let's move on to our reading number three. This is um, Golden Universal Tarot by Los Carbeo. And let's ask, does this person dream about you? They dream. And what are they dreaming about? Well, here we have a little bit of a conflicting situation going on. They are in, how to say, are you? Looks like you're not in a good terms with this person. Looks like uh, they're in very fighting mood here. You can see that. Uh, either there are other people he wants to fight with. Or maybe a situation with you brings a very, uh, like argumentative memories in their mind and emotions so they feel very mad when they think about you i don't know like they want to shout and be abusive and be like very you know uh talk a lot and basically make noise that sort of thing so i think this person finds a situation with you to be very uncalm and very conflicting yeah he wants to fight with you i feel and uh, so 
So what exactly does you what exactly does the memory about you, the situation with you, uh, what do they as exactly associate with you when they think about you? We have a male. We have money. We have another male. So we have men and money. We have men and money. We have uh, jealousy. You have competition, I'm sure of it. Now, uh, this can talk about competition, the five of wands. So there are more males, more men that basically are around you. And this person is just going crazy. And they, feel, they want to be noticed. The, the ego is hurt, you know. And I feel that there are other others who... And they are... Uh, and they're all kind of waiting for the answer from you. Which one will you choose, you know? And there is the sense of competition. Three kings are here. Three kings are here. And there is like a reward, waiting for a reward. Which one will reward me? Uh, like, which one will win? That sort of thing. Okay, so this is the first from the first glance. It looks like that. I think uh, the situation with you is, I, th I said, does he dream about you? I'm getting the six of wands. I'm feeling this is ego situation for me. Like, uh, who will win? You know, who will get you like a, some sort of award? Mm -hmm. And... Uh, what would that person want to tell you if they could? What would they want to tell you? Oh my god. So they are obsessed about you, I guess, here. They're saying, I'm fed up with all this flirting and all this affair stuff. Me or them. If you're choosing, basically you have to tell me if it's me or him. And, you know, because I'm leaving, because I'm fed up with this, you know, I don't need this stress and I don't need this, basically, uh, situation. Uh, because, you know, I just want you and you should be mine, that sort of thing. We have very, a lot of interest in sec sex here with the devil card and this is an obsession. This is an obsession, they want you just... For the sake of wanting and achieving, I guess. And they are not the sort that will give up easily. They just want to win. With these cards. You know, me or no one. Something like that. And this person is insane, basically. <laughs> they are... Uh, we have the devil, we have this king of swords, very, very angry. And we have this card that they might get into fights because of you they're willing and they would shout a lot because i'm kind of almost hearing the noise and we have other two kings that are also willing to shout one is slid back but one is kind of um you know also very serious about you so that sort of situation some sort of jealousy some sort of sort of a little bit conflict yeah Okay, so this was our guy number three. And let's just pull what is the advice for you regarding this person. Well, keep standing strong with this guy. You need some strength here. And be patient. It can mean that it's it's okay. You know, it's uh, it can mean that it will never be better. One meaning is that it will never go better. It's just the sort of person that he is. The other meaning is it's about to finish. So just... A little more, more, a little longer. You have to wait. And what is advice for this person actually regarding you? Well, this person. So either have the guts to go and tell you about how they feel. Maybe it's also talking about that they will never be satisfied if they are like this, and um, they always want more. They they're never happy with what they have. So they always keep looking and looking and more and more and they're never kind of happy with anything that they have so it's just telling to them uh, about this kind of thing that there's no limitation of what they want they always want more and more 
um, also look look in the other places. You know, it's not that just you who's here. They might find someone else. They should release their focus from you because they're too much angry. Okay. So this was our man number three. Let's move on and have a look at the deck number four. This is our deck number four. It's uh, Tarot Lenamard by Los Carbeo. And <clears throat> let's see. Does this person dream about you? Do you dream? And what are they dreaming about you? Does this person dream about you? Oh, we see a situation. Yes, this is waiting and dreaming. But for me, it seems that you're waiting for them. And they are, th they are just kind of moved on. You know, they kind of let it go. They might like you, they might love you, but they kind of let, let it go. The situation with you, in their brain, they admitted that they should leave or move on or something. Maybe something was not happening in your relationship properly and they decided that they cannot last any longer like this and they have to just release you from their focus, from their hopes, you know, because some people cannot bear that feeling of waiting and hoping. But, um, so this is you basically waiting for them on, like, waiting and waiting this is them basically not looking at that. They are ignoring the fact that you're waiting for them. They are thinking about leaving. And that's they were calm about it. Like they made their decision already. Uh, like, you know, person does the right thing. They think this is the right thing to do. Uh, they're ignoring their emotions. They love you, I feel, here. Because they're the king of cups. But they think they have to move on for some reason. So, if... So, what else can we tell about this person? What else can we... Um, look, these cards fell. Means they're the right ones for this reading. So, have a situation, you and this person together, basically. He is uh, kind of... This is your period of dating, your all the game, that, you know, flirting and trying to be together, whatever. And this talks about uh, the fact that it's kind of got stuck somewhere. It didn't go further. So, um, in this situation, they're thinking that this is postponed. This whole situation is now on hold because of some reasons. What are the reasons of why it didn't happen? This relationship. Another woman we have. Dreaming. It can be a platonic, secret type of relationship. Where, you know, people basically just want to be together, dream about each other. But they're not together yet. What else? It can be children, it can be that he had a child or you had a child, it can be that sort of thing. And and this is the decision, yeah, that they did. There was some sort of decision that had to be made, like the right thing to do again. What does this person want to tell you? If they could tell you, what would they right now tell you? What is their message? Look, so I'm getting that uh, that this is um, that they love you basically, that they wanted to be with you, that there was uh, feelings, there were feelings, and this person is aware of the opportunity that happened. This was a very precious opportunity for them. It can be that uh, this relationship was like gold for them, like golden opportunity. But it can also talk the, about the fact that this also was mixed up in some sort of business situation. And in the end, uh, we can say that this person is faithful if they are married to their 
wife, to their children, to their family. And it also can talk about the fact that at the same time, they will be faithful for you always in a way that they meant it, yeah? And also, there is uh, another meaning that they are saying that they will meet you in, in your house later. So it talks about this being a permanent type of relationship, no matter if they uh, kind of in their mind, they kind of let it go already. But you are not willing to let it go. You're willing to wait forever. And... And I'm feeling that if this is a work relationship, and that might uh, help you meet again, yeah? Because it, the love is not the only thing on which this relationship stands. There's a family or the house, and there is also money and projects and opportunities. So if it's that, then I think they're saying they'll meet you in your house. Yeah, they'll come to your house. Okay, so this was our reading number four. It's about daydreaming and dreaming and what are these people thinking, dreaming and remembering about you. So I hope this was uh, helpful and accurate. Please uh, comment in the comments. How was this reading? Did you get your messages? Was it believable? Was it accurate or was it not? Uh, so uh, thank you again for watching this. I hope to meet you in the other video. Hope you have a great night, great day and everything goes well for you. And bye-bye. See you later.